Hello everyone, welcome back to hopefully Dead Cells on the very same day that you left me. No, let's just look. I'm gonna have the Assassin's Dagger, I at least owe you more shield practice. Um, this is setting my own mind at ease, as mentioned. I do feel that I am... I have more respect for your time than that, okay? I'm, I'm grateful to you for watching, and I don't want to say, hey, you should watch me for an entire hour, so instead, here's some 20 minute episodes. Also, I'm collecting um, cells because we just unlocked a blueprint. That was a terrible death, by the way, I apologize for it, but at the same time, I did I not say, if it all goes horribly wrong, and then immediately went horribly wrong, which did not give me the opportunity to uh, fulfill the plan, which was to not do that. Oh. It bounces the thing back, but it says it can't parry, so it does have some value. It's good against projectiles, at least. <laughs> no. So, it still does the damage. We get some damage from it. Not not um, not DPS, but like it causes damage to us still. But less. I thought I had room behind you. That was wrong. <laughs> I was incorrect. I will take Brutality because I don't necessarily want to do another shield run. Especially not with this shield, which I don't understand. <laughs> I can't... It doesn't parry, what's the point? Um, the only mutation that could work with this shield is the one that doesn't involve parrying. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I guess we will just roll a normal run and try and find something better. Also, this shield scales with Brutality. So everything we've got right now is red stuff. And that's that's what we like to see. But let's just uh, do that. There we go. Now we've got two red stuffs on each thingy. And I would like to find... I don't know if you need to go to the ramparts anymore. Not the ramparts, the uh, promenade, because we found the blueprint, as mentioned. Uh, so, might try a sort of a toxic sewers, maybe an ossuary run? I don't want to go too slowly, and I don't want to go too quickly. This could be better, actually. Yes. Ice and fire grenade, perfect. The, the standard synergy. Fire and water must make you their daughter. Fire and ice. I used to make levels for Hexen. I convinced my dad to buy me uh, Deep, the Doom Enhanced Editing Program, which came on like a million floppy disks. <laughs> yeah, those. You remember. Um, but it also worked for Hexen, which was cool. Which is why I know so much about the the mechanics of Hexen and the way it works. For example, I remember that you couldn't have a, a moving thingy because Hexen added to the Doom engine the ability for things to move laterally. Doom could only do up and down. It was completely bound to the verticalness of the... Uh, I should probably use float, throwing knives once in a while as well. In fact, that one, this might have been a good time to do so, but never. Um, it was completely bound to vertical. In fact, it was technically a 2.5D game, even though it was you know, 3D by everyone's reckoning, because you play it in a... It, it renders itself into a 3D environment. The engine is a 2D engine. It just adds onto the two-dimensional... Let's go restock first, and then we can unlock the new one. Uh, it adds onto a two-dimensional world a sort of an, an extra third dimension. I find that upgrading the Assassin's Dagger and then getting plus 20% critical hit is basically the best thing to do ever, so I'm going to keep doing that. And we'll take the uh, DPS after killing. Um, so Hexen came along and they added the ability for things to move sideways, which presumably was a, a huge technical challenge, because I also learned that the way Doom rendered was to... Um, take each of those two-dimensional points and sort of project vertically a... Oh, I still got poison from that. Interesting. To vertically project um, the the wall. So you figure out what part of the wall you're looking at and then draw a vertical line. Please stop poisoning me. <laughs> um, from that point, and each pixel would be the relevant colour, which worked really well in, in the old days because... You only had so many processor cycles, so you only had to work out what each pixel was for. It's essentially ray tracing. You know, you didn't suffer 
necessarily... You don't suffer as much from the number of actual polygons on the screen. There weren't any polygons on the screen. There were lines on the screen, and you had to cast a ray to intersect with another line. So it's, uh, it's a two-dimensional um, calculation. And the third dimension is just sort of shoved on top by having a look at the information around that two-dimensional line and figuring out how high to draw the line and then casting again if we had a, a gap. I just ran straight through the poison. I'm talking about Doom. You can go stop me. I'm, you know, I'm the most powerful creature in the world. Can you stop? I probably should have just, you know, ice grenaded the Joker, but just bit me. You know? Why do you watch this if you don't want to see someone playing Dead Cells whilst never using any of their skills? Hmm? 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 In fact, let's call it a no-skill run. Um, we should try that. How hard could it possibly be? It can't be any harder than it already flipping well is. Honestly, if I save my grenades for when I get into one of those sticky situations like I did before, it might be golden. I do like the uh, movement in this game. Ah! Ooh, wish of all! I yelled, but I didn't need to. Nice. I genuinely thought I was going to get exploded in any of these situations, and I've yet got through it. I like the word yet. It's one of those sort of multifaceted, many valuable words. It means but, it means so far, it means, you know, as well. What does it mean? There's another version. <laughs> it means many things, and I've only thought of two. Just stop. I used my skill, sorry. I've become the thing I hate the most. And the very thing I thought to destroy. Thought to destroy? Thoughts to destroy. Yet. I haven't yet used the word yet. And yet. I did. It all sort of means still as well, you know, there are yet more. Ooh, thank you for the money. I'm not going to read everything. Do I look like a reader? Nah. I ain't about that lifestyle. Reading is for nerds. This is red. I've not tried it yet. Ooh. Torchy. It does very much seem to be the frost blast, but not as good. That's unfair. I know, but I am prejudiced in favour of things that make enemies stop moving. Like that. Uh -huh. Something is causing me to be really good, <laughs> and I'm happy about it. Well, I mean, I have to. Because it says. You can't sell it, even though I upgraded it. That's rude, man. You should be able to sell it if you put money into it. I mo. I've got a lot of fire things going on, that's the reason. I mean, there's stuff down there. We should check it out. There's no point not min-maxing. I would like the cells. We have a lot of things to buy now. And, uh, of course, I did say that I would... Mate, that's not how you play this game. I did say that. Ooh! You know what I was saying about slow weapons versus fast ones? That's one of the reasons I do prefer the fast ones. I know I have a torch. I just forgot to use it. Let's have some HP. Um, yeah, I, I want to buy a bunch of stuff that I just don't really have unlocked yet. I said that like it was um, like there's a sliding scale of whether I've got it unlocked or not. It's n not what I meant. It's just turn the phrase. It's like saying like all the time. I can't help it. Leave me alone. I haven't got over it yet. That's a good word. I do like archaic words, don't you? Of course, if you time it, you know, you get the... Uh... That was... Stopping swinging is like Nanny Og trying to stop spelling banana, okay? It's just hard. I don't know how. If I don't need to swing, he's probably going to be swinging anyway. You know, swing when you're winning. Like Robbie Williams. I want neither... Not any enemies nearby. Yes.
don't think I have enough time to sell it and also find more enemies. There are no enemies nearby. I'm going to spend this anyway. Ooh, my face has gone all glowy. That's nice. Oh, I wasn't too bothered about that. I mean, it would have been nice to have a few HP back, but whatever. Wait, wasn't there a kebab on this level? No. There's loads to explore, actually. I ignored... Ah, oh, it's probably the time door. Never mind those. And the sh I don't think there's 10 enemies left in this level, so I'm probably not going to want to do that. Kebab. Kebab. I mean, maybe I should... I don't want to go to the ramparts. You... You thief of... I was going to say, I should probably... Uh, place the ice grenade with something that will help me with... All the things that I'm doing. Well, if that's the time door, then what's up there? I don't care. Let's go. The, the ice grenade is kind of opposite to fire. I mean, this is how I started on this whole conversation, but it means that I can't use them both at the same time, but I can burn the ground and have them trapped at the same time, and they will continue to be trapped. Right? right we have restock. A very reasonable price. Is there a restock too? No. Hunt for rare blue. We'll have to get that at some point. So we're going to unlock the bow, which I'm not going to use. We're going to unlock the other bow, which I'm not going to use. We're going to unlock... That could be good. Once I actually get good at this game and stop being hit all the time. I'm going to put the rest in this, because that's what we just got. It's blue and... It's purple and um, green. Which is, I guess, common for boats. That's nice. Upgrade and no. I don't want to reforge that, so let's reforge this. Explode is good. Explode is still good. Fine. You're going to give me explode. I don't want to spend all my money like I keep doing. Um, burned is fine because we have burned. Okay, good. Yes, this is. These are working together sorts of things. I know the previous episode I was talking about. Oh, it's too far. I was talking about the, um, the the benefits of trying things that don't seem like they would work together because they're going to do something that you didn't expect, which didn't happen, but experimentation is key. Actually, Googling it is probably better for you, but experimentation also works. Having something on fire gives me DPS because they are on fire. And then it gives me DPS because they're on fire, which is amazing. Immense. The fire on the ground doesn't last long with the torch. Does it stay burnt? No. Okay. I was wondering if it was like a channeled spell sort of thing. It was not. That's okay. I'm not disappointed. Or anything like that. What would make you think I was? I'm going to go with the uh, HP because I'm in a scary place and also... Um, also, the reasons that I... I know you can read my mind, so I don't have to speak. Is that true? You all know what I'm saying without me saying it, right? Be... And be better. Yes. I know it burns nearby enemies. That's the job. Now we get biters again. Woot, woot, woot. Um, yeah, just play. Sing a song to fill in dead air whilst we run along the longest corridor. That is actually a very tame corridor. I am disappointed. I'm not going to fight elites. Don't make me. I don't need it. I'd rather do the challenge rooms, to be honest with you. Tight passage. Hmm. Still, I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? A drum stick. That's good. Now we know about it. When I inevitably foul everything else up, I can come back for the drumby stick. I can't get down there. Yet. Just this way. Um. Let's keep on going with our damage. I realised that we accidentally balanced our uh, red and green, which was not in my, uh, not my intention at all. We're burning. Nice. If I set the thing on fire, it doesn't seem to last very long, but. Boy, do it. I mean, ambiguous sentence, and I meant both. 
The fire doesn't last very long, but neither does the thing that is on fire. And I am grateful for that. I'm also grateful for there being a range on this. Because I don't like it. Oh look, the challenge room, like I requested. Nice. I do appreciate the explodey things, meaning that I don't have to deal with those biters. Or walkers, if you are from Rick's camp. Yes. I accept. I accept. I <laughs> just keep going. What? Get on that. Oh my gosh. Do you see that dude? He was trying to ruin me. I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't sure, okay? I rolled when I should have. I dodged when I should have dived. Nah. Not, not a thing. What? What was I saying just the other day about doing things in the right order? Which is to say, not um, getting hit by stomping on spikes. That was the look before you leap, idiom. Which also makes perfect sense and doesn't need explaining. That fire is very blue. Is there a reason for this? Is it my stomp fire that is blue? Does that mean it's more hotter? Because that is very excellent. <laughs> the explodey things. Or well, I'm going to heal because that didn't go too well. Oh, that was really good healing. Why? Do I just get better healing for survival from my flask? I thought this flask didn't do nearly that much. It doesn't actually tell me, you notice, what my flask does. So, uh, Do you want to spend all your money, more than all your money on 10 cells? No, I'm not that desperate for an amazing crossbow, which I've recently unlocked. If I was that desperate, I would have put all my money in that. Same money. Ooh, careful. What, 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 what? Just need to make sure we get that fire in on time. We could just stomp. Wait, the stomp does oil. Yeah. So we have to stomp, but we also have to use our torch anyway. It would be preferable if we had something that was passively creating the fire for me. Because, uh, I mean, that's probably just obvious why, right? I guess I have the fire grenade. But it's a grenade, so I have to wait for it. Is that a torch being thrown? Is that what happens? Nice. I'm gonna kill this for the sake of it. Nice. Okay, good. We are getting somewhere with our game skills. The fire is so good in this run. I don't feel like I'm struggling around my synergies today, which is a good feeling to have. I've been in there, yes. I want it to go over there. My mistake. Come on, let me up. There we go. Anyone who could jump twice in the air should not need to learn to climb up a wall. Okay? It's just science. Stomp all the things, and don't worry about whether you might end up in spikes. Look, before you end up in spikes. Look, absolutely. Something's buzzing. Is it my phone? I hope so. I have nothing else that buzzes. As far as you know, that's true. Do I want this? Y yes. Do you prefer... Um, I'm not really using it, to be quite honest with you. As I don't have to be honest with you. It's not like you've not been watching. Have you not been watching? I find that very disingenuous of you. How dare you not be watching? Run! I understand that that hurts a great deal, so I was very lucky that I stood where I did. So I thought I was standing in the way of it. What's over here? It better be worth it, because I'm going. Great risk to my life and limb. I should get paid more for this. This is very risky behaviour. Oh look, a not cursed chest. One day we will open a cursed chest. This is not this day. Stop giving me things I'm not going to use. Okay. Thoughts about this. Kind of the problem with unlocking so much stuff. 
I don't... The other thing is, the cursed treasure gives me stuff, but I don't necessarily want it. See? Um, I understand it can give you some pretty decent things, but again, why? This is a pretty decent run already. Apart from the fact I got hit because I was just sort of staring at the enemies instead of attacking them, but that's the way it goes, okay? Nice. Smart. And grip the wall. Stomp it. And throw. And kill. Duplex bow. It's actually kind of tempting, but it doesn't do any burning for me. I mean, I could probably reforge it into eventually getting a trail of burning arrows from it, but that sounds like a lot more effort than it's worth to just not take it in the first place. No, especially, like, I mean, over just not taking it. That seems like the easiest and most fruit. Now we're talking about the longest corridor in the world. Probably the easiest thing to do is just ignore it and sell it. Because that's just who I am, I do. Run. I wish there were a way of not having to wait for that. Ow. So Kenzie isn't here. And I did say that I would probably have um, a puppy for the next episode in the next episode, which is therefore this episode, which is not that episode, which is the next episode. Last episode. We're, there's no dog. The dog's still alive, don't worry about that. It's not like Kenzie has become a numb dog. But the, um, there was a minor medical concern with the litter involving loose output <laughs> from the from the end of the dog so I think we can just go here I should have gone up there in the first place I didn't even see it I don't want to go all the way down there just to get back to that teleporter I think I've got enough let's go to the insufferable crypt and fail at this enemy instead of the other enemy which is the one I failed at last time um, we will be getting Kenzie on Monday that is not today. It's not tomorrow either, actually, now I think about it. I wasn't going to record today because we were going to be preparing for Ken Kenzie to, to get here, but um, instead of that, we'll be getting Kenzie on Monday, which and today is Friday, so you can do the maths on that because... Maths. Um, oh, that was really good. Cool. Um... Because tomorrow would be there for Saturday, so Saturday would have been the day that we were going to go and get Kenzie, which means today would have been the day that we were going to. Um, excuse me, shush. Today would have been the day that we were going to. Do I want this? Or do I want to sort of have a small amount of HP every so often? I think I'd rather have the HP because I feel like we're doing enough damage already with our amazing synergy. Uh, that might be the wrong decision, but I'm not sure. Also, insufferable crypt. There's not going to be many things dying here. But we've got to think past that. <gasps> those doors with bosses in. They should just make the dungeon out of those doors. And then you're, you're golden, aren't you? So if you do this, ow. Why aren't you on fire anymore? Ow. It's one of those ones where it's kind of hard to... Uh, move aside too much because I'm, you know, swinging. We have to keep moving and then we can, you know, use our sword. Basically need to use your sword when everything's already in the air. That went okay and we, I think we got some HP back for that. Phone shush. Great. No. <laughs> Come over here. Over here. This is not what I told you to do. Get over here. Over here. Very good. Now do this. Hooray! There's lots of fire on the ground, which makes me happy. Wow, I actually paid enough attention to get through everything. I apologise if I go quiet, it's because I'm doing what I just said. Just paying enough attention to make everything work properly. 
Ooh, that wouldn't right. Whoa! Roll. Yeah, come at me, bro. Missed. Oh! I'm fairly sure my HP was going down there, not up. Oi, get back here. Appreciate the cooldown time on my, uh, this one, uh, trap. Because otherwise, I'd never be able to get this thing into position half the time. Okay, nice try. Come on. Oh, he's done it. Back of the net, mate. Over here. I know I got hit once, but come on. What? <laughs> Get down here. Come on. Ow. Come on. Over here. Not here. Uh oh. Help. I can't hit you if you're up there. Okay. Stop it. Not funny. You're not big and you're not clever. Well, you're pretty big, but you're not clever. As evidenced by the fact that you're not doing it right. Come on. Get down here. Why won't you be here? <laughs> I just want you to die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, got hit. It's alright, it's alright. It's not that bad. This bug is really hard to hit when you haven't got something good at hitting stuff. <laughs> you haven't got something quick enough, you can't hit the bastard. Burn this ground. Salt this ground. Why won't you come down here? Come at me, bro. Find me like a. Big chain to the ceiling thing. Why are you only chain to the ceiling and yet still doing this much? Oh, now you get me. Now you come to me when I want you. Please. Please. Come along. Help. No way of avoiding that. I can't hit you when you're up there. Why didn't you get caught in that? Seems a bit unfair. The whole point of that was for you to get caught in it. And you literally were on top of it. Stop this. I can't avoid this enough. A little bit more damage than you've done. Come on now. There we go. Right. Now we can deal with these jokers. Give me some HP back. No, stop charging me. Oh, I'm not doing right. Why is the game so small? <laughs> I don't want to see this much detail. Ow. Oh, what? I thought you were going to do that before. Wish I hadn't taken so much damage just now. At least I recognise that now. Oh dear. Don't think we're going to make it through this one. Oh. <laughs> okay, well thank you for watching. That was exactly the right length of episode and... Every enemy has to be fought with the right weapons, and they mean that it stopped being trapped in the trap. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Do remember to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see if I upload them both on the same day. Won't you be lucky? But until then, as mentioned, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.